Yes. Like we are going to start with the dashboard. The topic first. Yes. So let's start with the dashboard component. And when in the last lecture, we have created every different type of the report that we have created. We created this uh, tabular report and we created this joint report also. We created the summary report and the matrix also. And you understand what is, you know, uh, what exactly is every type of reports, what are the features, what exactly is the chart component and where, uh, I mean, on which report we can create the chart component. So now the, I mean, let's move on to the next topic and that is the dashboard. So dashboard, is a kind of you know pictorial representation of report data. So there are basically two different kinds of the reports on which we can create the chat component and that is summary and the matrix. Now in these two reports, actually we can create a dashboard. Dashboard is also created on the same type of report where you can create the chat component. So you can create the chat component only on the two, two types of view. That is a summary report and the matrix report. And that is why, that is why uh, this dashboard is also the graphical representation of report data. So dashboard cannot be formed on every report. Again, this one is an interview question on which report you can create the dashboard components. So the dashboard component are created only on those two kinds of the report on which we can create the chart. Chart is created on what? Summary and the dashboard. And a summary and the metrics. And, and that is why, you know, this is the reason you also can create the dashboard components only on the two different types of report. One of them is summary report, the second is metric. Right? So what is a chat, uh, what is a, a dashboard? How many components are there inside the chat? Oh, sorry, how many components, how many different type of chat components are there in the dashboard? So let's see, let's see how to, I mean, how different types of the dashboards are there. So, you know, I could do two things over here. You know, I can bring along with the reports, I can bring the dashboard also. That is one of the thing or inside the report tab, even I have one, one of the button called as the dashboard. So by clicking on this, by clicking on this, you know, you, you actually going to land it on the dashboard home page. There are two ways. Either you can, you know, uh, just like, you know, you, you have that tab report on the tab, but you can also have the dashboard tab. But actually, there is no need, you know, if you want to just create a dashboard, even if you're having this report tab, you know, if you're having the report tab or the tab bar, this much is also sufficient. You know, there is no additional need to have this dashboard tab. Why? Because inside on the report also, there is a button to go to the dashboard home and that is with the new dashboard. If you click this button, you're actually going to be landed on what? You're going to be landed out on the dashboard. That is zero one set, you know, this is, this is the object ID of the dashboard. So actually there is no need to, you know, additionally add the dashboard tab over here. So, how many different types of dashboard components are there? This is an interview question. See, these are total all together. These many are the number of the, I mean, altogether there are actually 11 dashboard components. Probably I have listed it out over here also. So bar chart, horizontal and the vertical, you know, horizontal bar chart and vertical bar chart. These are the two entries. So actually it's 10 plus 11, you know, that is why. So, so the horizontal and the vertical, I make it in a single point, but actually there are altogether 11 different types of the dashboard components. So it's horizontal bar, uh, horizontal bar chart, the vertical bar chart. These are the two separate entries. Then there's a line chart, there's a column chart, pie chart, donut, fennel, scatter, gauge, metric, and the visual force page chart. So uh, altogether, there are 12 different types of the dashboard components. And they, they ask you this in the interview also. What is a dashboard? On which report you can create the dashboard? And how many different types of dashboard components your chat components are there on the dashboard. That is, they ask in the interview. So let's start with the, this. I mean, let's start with the dashboard. Let me show. It's a very small topic. Let's let's finish it by today, so that you know by tomorrow I can start with the security. So there are you know different types. These are the different types of chat components: horizontal bar chart and the vertical bar chart. And this is the line chart. And this is the pie chart. And this is the donut chart. And this is the panel chart, gauge chart, scattered chart. You know, these many other different types of the uh, dashboard components. And this is what this is the dashboard home page. This is the dashboard home page. 
Now there are a few more things which have been written in the theory. Let's discuss that point first, and then we are going to see it practically. You know, using a dashboard, we can apply maximum twenty components on the user interface. Now, what does this point means? And but if we are displaying a dashboard on the home page, we can display the first three components. And what does this mean? So we need to discuss on these two points. You know, we need to discuss. I need to explain you on these two points. And we actually are going to, you know, I'm going to show you it practically so that you better understand all these two points. So, uh, what the point is mentioning that on the dashboard user interface, on the dashboard user interface, can actually accommodate twenty components. That's it, not more than that. You can actually accommodate twenty components. Twenty dashboard components can be added, can be accommodated on the user interface, not more than that. You know. So, what does this actually mean? So, yeah. Let's come to here. Let me add uh, how to add this drag and drop. You know, let me add few of the dashboard components. So first of all, let me add this uh, donut chart. Let me add this fennel chart and uh, gauge chart over here. If I scroll it down, even I have a scope to add few more components. So uh, let me add, you know, uh, this uh, horizontal uh, pie chart, or let me add this, you know. This this particular chart, pie chart, and uh, horizontal bar chart I have already added. So let me add a line chart over here. So see, I added six components. You know, this is this is what the capacity what there, what there has been mentioned. Ki Twenty components at max. What you can add on the UI. So it was actually related to this thing. You know, it was actually related to this thing. So on this particular user interface, you know, now if I scroll it down, you know, I can. I can bring few more components over here. You know, even I can bring it like that. I can bring it like that. So it's going to create a new page. And even I can even add some. I mean, the repeated chat also I can add. Once again, I can go up here and add this like this. You know, I can add it like this. I can add it like this. So, so how much components? How much components that you can add it on this user interface? That is what the capacity what we are talking about. So at max, you know, at max you can go up to twenty dashboard components on this particular user interface area. Where you actually drag and drop the components, and you are going, you guys are going to observe some of the disturbance because uh, my neighbor some function is going on, and they are actually making some noise. I cannot tell them, so you need to bear with all this. So you know, uh, I'll try to speak a little bit loud. So on this particular user interface, you know how much components can be added. You know how much components we can add. That is what the capacity we are talking about. So you know you can maximum add twenty components over here, not more than that. Below twenty, yes, you can accommodate that. Below twenty, but more than twenty, you cannot accommodate. It. So let me remove some of the component. I mean, I don't want it to be here. Just for the sake of example, I was telling you, yeah, we can drag and drop it, and this interface. Ab jab ab drag and drop karte ho, you get some more area in the below, and this is how you actually add the components on this particular area. You know. So I have added six dashboard components. Like I added the donut chart, then the panel chart, and the gauge chart, and then vertical bar chart, pie chart, and the line chart. You know, this I have added. Now, this was the first step. You know, when I want to create a dashboard, the what is the first step? The first step is to add the components, add the chat components, add the dashboard. And sometimes they are called they call this to be the chat component. Sometimes they call this to be the uh, dashboard component. So basically, it's one and same thing, you know. It's one and same thing. Now see, after adding the components, what is the second step? After adding the component, the second step is to provide the data source. And so now you you were onto this particular tab. Now you need to go to this tab. You know, just adjacent to the component, there is a tab. You see, it's a tab called as data source. Just click on that. What could be the data source of the component? There are two different types of data source. You can data source could be a report, could be the visual source page also. I mean, I can fetch the record from the visual post page and then let it be landed on this particular um, component. I can do that, but presently I don't have any visual post page, and so I cannot do that right now. But I have few reports. I constructed few reports. Some of them are into the Align HR. Some of them are into unfiled public reports. But I'll go with this because whatever I created, you know, I believe on that. So I'll I'll go with the Align HR reports, and we have all these kinds of reports. Now see. I mean the same question once again. On which on which report you can create a dashboard component? On which type of record report 
you can create a dashboard component. If I try to drag and drop any of the tabular reports, see what is it indicating to me that it's an error. This report cannot be used as a source. Why? For this component. Why? Because if it's a summary or the matrix report, then you can add it. Otherwise, not. It's clearly mentioning, you know, it's clearly mentioning that what kind of report can be used over here. And it's the same concept here. I mean, it's the same concept. We we learned this, you know, we learned this few days back. That when we want to create a chat component on the report itself. I mean, a dashboard, this is a separate thing. Yes, of course, it's a separate thing. I know. But yeah, we can create a single chat component. I know we can create a single chat component on the report also. But not, not every report allows you to do that. Only the summary and the matrix is the two kind of report where, you know, you can create a chat components, not here. The same is the concept with the dashboard also. When you want to create a dashboard, you cannot go with the tabular. Even you cannot go with the joint. Let me try to drag and drop it over here. No, I cannot have this over here. No, once again, it's telling me the error. But if I try to have any of the summary or rather the matrix report, I probably have not stored the matrix report. It's not, it's not present over here. I probably have not stored the matrix report. You know, it's I, I drag it over here and see it's taking some time. Why? It's actually making some internal calculation and see how does it looks like. So I can, as a data source, what you can use, you can either use a summary report or either you can go with the matrix. I, I don't see the matrix. That is why I cannot drag it over here. You know, summary over here. And see if what happened if you try to get the joint report also, you're going to get the error. You know, definitely you're going to get the error. So, okay, once again, I, I summary. And let me have the summary over here also. So, see, this is how, you know, this is how I created a dashboard. This is how I created a dashboard. And what is a dashboard? Dashboard is a kind of graphical representation of the report data. Whatever there is in the, inside the report, you can graphically represent it on the dashboard. And let me save this first of all. You know, let me save this. Uh, let me give this as to be any note. Summer with rating dashboard. Let me give this name. Where you want to store, you can create your own customized folder. Otherwise, you can go with this. Now save and run the dashboard. See how does it looks like. See how does it looks like. Guys, give me one second. Hmm. So uh, this is how does actually a dashboard looks like. So whatever the components you have dragged and drop it over here, you know, the same components are going to be reflected in the same way, you know, in the same way you, I mean, in the same sequence, there's like, you know, you, you selected that donut chart to be the first component. You selected funnel to be the second component and the case to be the third component. So in the same way, you know, it's in the same way it's going to display like this. And then whenever you want, you can make the edit it. You know, Abhi, Abhi presently there's a no hoover, you know, if I, if I save it, you know, if I save it and if I try to run this, you know, I, I'm, I'm not going to see any hoover component. But yes, I can edit it at any, at any instance, you can edit them. Okay. If you want to show this uh, percentage, even you can show that, you can show the total want to show the hoovers whatever you want you can see you know same thing just you make to uh, save it this you need to save it and once again you need to run the dashboard once again so this is how actually you know this is how we uh, run the dashboards and we create the dashboard so this is how we get now see I, I have you know edited this and now i can show this this actually mouse hoover uh, feature has been added over it's not being added over here because i have not edited this chart if i want to make this as an edited i can go anytime i can go and edit this I can make it enable this feature. I can make it enable over here also. Let me press this. Okay. Let me save this. If I close this. See, now it's being added over. So whatever the type of editing you want, you know, whatever the kind of editing you want, you can do it on this board at any time. Now, this was the one thing. This was the first thing. There's one more thing we need to discuss it over. What we created, we created a dashboard. What we created, we created a dashboard, you know. What we created, we created a dashboard. How many components? These many components that we have. Now, there's a provision on the, if you go to the homepage on of your org, you know, if you go to the homepage, see, actually on the homepage, what are the components? This is again one important thing. On the homepage, you know, we, the, the first component that is what is being displayed is the chatter, the collaboration cloud. Like, 
you can hide it yes you can hide it you have this option that you can show the feeds even you can hide the feeds but what is the first component that is being displayed on the home page is the chatter is what this is the chatter this is the first component if you don't want to see the feeds you can hide the feeds what is the second section second section is calendar all of the events whatever you have planned is going to be listed on this you know we know this we have learned this long back and uh, after that there is a task section whatever the task you have planned you know what what the task you created every task is going to be listed out over now we can even bring the dashboards on the home page and that is one of the interview question how you can bring the dashboards on the home page so i have you know i have written the navigation for that so if you want to bring the dashboard on the home page this is the navigation this is the navigation to place this is the navigation to bring the dashboards on the home page so they ask you this on in the interview they also ask you this so what is the navigation go to the setup menu and go to the build menu inside the build menu if you expand the customize menu you have settings of the home inside the home you are going to see this setting home page layout let me show you that so let's go to the setup menu and then go to the build and then go to the build and the customize you have this home right home let's expand this let's expand the home and you have this home page components home page layouts and custom links out of these three you need to go with the second option home page layout just click on the home page layout and here is this is the home page layout what we have seen over you know this is the home and this is the layout every tab we discussed this when we we kabhi pehle ki baat hai i i told you one thing if i go to the position what is the position position is going to be landed on position layout every every tab have a layout do tarah ke layout hote hain edit layout and the detail layout yes presently you are on what you are this home page you know this are the home page if i open any record If I open any record, I am on to the detail page. If I edit this, I will be going to enter it into what edit layout. So every every tab have its own layout with the same name. Hiring managers' ka layout kya hai? Hiring manager layout. Position ka layout kya? Position ka layout. What is the name of home page layout? Its home page layout ka bhi apna naam hai, and that name is DE default. It is not home page layout. It is DE default. What does DE stands for? Developer edition. What does DE stands for? DE stands for developer edition. So this is DE default. This is the home page default layout. What is the name? DE default. But this is for the developer edition. For the unlimited edition, it's UL default. For the unlimited edition, it's actually UL default. So what we need to edit? We need to edit this layout. I mean, here for changes coming, and that <coughs> sorry, and that is why whatever the changes we are asking, we are asking it on what default layout. So let's edit. So presently, you see these are the components. You see the calendar. and you see what you see uh, the task so you see the uh items to be approved also there is uh, items to be approved so i want to add a dashboard snapshot you know i want to add a dashboard snapshot let me just add so this this they ask you this in the interview question what is a dashboard snapshot so dashboard snapshot is what it's an option it's an it's an option actually it's a check box and what happens with this let me tell you if i click this If I click this dashboard snapshot, you know what's going to happen. Click it and press the next button. A dashboard is going to be added. Dashboard is going to be added on what? On the home page where you want. I want it above the items window. That is my choice. You can you know place it everywhere, wherever you want. You can place it. I want it to be on. I mean, uh, after calendar task, I want to be display the time. Or rather, you know, let's let's bring it over here. It's it's really up to us, you know. And let me save. It. now i have edited this you know i edited this let's go to the home go to the home page you see what we have done we added a dashboard and this particular ab dekho dhyan se suno this is an interview question what is a dashboard snapshot this particular area of the home page where we display the three dashboard component only three first three out of all six first three components are going to be displayed this particular area of the home page where we display the first three dashboard component This is called as dashboard snapshot. This is called as dashboard snapshot. Okay, this is called as dashboard snap. Whenever you want to display the latest data, you just need to refresh this. Whenever you refresh this, it's going to be. अभी देखो account का मैं यहाँ पे display data कर रहा हूँ. It's presently having seventeen records. Let me open the account and let me try to create one more record. So let me try to create one more record.
सो आई क्रिएटेड वन मोर रिक राइट अभी डैशबोर्ड में कितने देख रहे हैं सेवनटीन अभी मैंने एक और रिकॉर्ड क्रिएट किया लेट मी जस्ट लेट कौन सी यू नीड टू एक्चुअली रिफ्रेश द विंडो पूरा विंडो ही रिफ्रेश करना पड़ेगा देन ओनली डैशबोर्ड इज गोइंग एक सेकंड मैं कहीं ना कुछ तो भी गड़बड़ तो भी गड़बड़ कर अभी भी आई एम मेकिंग सम मिस्टेक समवेयर आई एम मेकिंग सो दिस शुड शुडंट बी हैपन तो तो कहीं भी कुछ मिस करना हो मैं रिफ्रेश दिस लेट मी सी व्हाट इज थिंग आई मीन व्हाट इज द स्टेप दैट आई एम स्किपिंग व्हाई इट्स नॉट रिफ्रेशिंग It's taking some time. It could be probably due to the network. हो सकता है. So this actually whatever the steps I follow, yes, it's all because of the network. So when you press this, even it get refreshed, but उसके लिए network थोड़ा सा maybe मेरे end से या फिर Salesforce की side से ही. But yes, we need to whenever we you know whenever we update anything inside the account or uh, I mean whenever we update anything inside the object. we actually need to refresh this you know and this is the this is by this refresh button has been given up. so this particular area see this particular area is called as dashboard snapshot up to here what it is going to display it, it display the three of the dashboard component only three not four not five it's only display the three dashboard component and that is what the dashboard snapshot is okay so yahi kuch cheeze yahan pe likha hua tha if we displaying the dashboard component on the home page yet tab we can only display the first three components not more than we can only display the first three components yahan pe teen kaun se component lagane hain wo aapko usko dashboard pe pehle se arrange karna hai so you actually need to arrange it in the dashboard thank you it's not dashboard yahan pe aapko karna hai agar ye teen wajah i mean if i if i just delete this you know and i bring it like this yahan pe maine abhi line chart la diya let me now save this Let me now say, now uh, if I go to the home page, you know, if I go to the home, see, the component here. Yeah, so, वो कौन से ये पहले तीन component जो आपके dashboard पे है ना ये first three component वही display होंगे home page पे ये जा. तो उसमें फिर आपको decide करना पड़ता है कि आपने कौन सा display करवाना है. बस वही तीन यहाँ पे arrange करो. Because that three components are going to be displayed on the dashboard snapshot. ये चीज. So this is what the dashboard is all about. छोटी सी चीज थी. I told you कि एक दिन में हो जाएगा. बड़ी. I have finished the dashboard. We need to go with the practices, and by tomorrow I am going to start with the securities. Okay, stop it.